hey welcome to my channel <coughs> and uh, in this video i will be talking about the solvent effect on substitution reaction right and for that i pick this particular reaction so you have a chloro derivative of furan so this ring is furan ring and uh, this is a chloro derivative of furan so there is a ch2 cl group and when you do substitution reaction of this furan with sodium cyanide in different conditions so first condition is you can use water for reaction uh, water as solvent so in this case you will be getting this product right so here is methyl group and when you use dmf or dmso either dmf or dmso as solvent you will be getting this product okay so you don't change the reagent for this reaction you only just you just change the solvent and the out outcome of this reaction is totally different so uh, in the first case that, that, that is when the reaction is in water the reaction is occurring at that particular center and when you are using dma for dmso the reaction is occurring at this center now if you uh, follow my uh, other videos of uh, nucleophilic substitution reaction and uh, i have another video on solvent effect you would know that uh, if you change the solvent for a reaction uh, actually the reaction uh, can re uh, the, the mode of reaction can completely change that is it can shift from sn1 to sn2 and the same thing is occurring here you may uh, you may already predict wh what is happening in one case it is sn1 and in one case it is sn2 but the act the proper explanation of this outcome is very interesting okay so uh, let us look at these reactions one by one so in the first case when you are using uh, water as solvent and you are getting this particular product okay so you are getting this product now if you look carefully at the product and the starting material you will be able to see that the reaction is occurring at this particular center and the cyanide is using here as a nucleophile water is solvent so at this particular structure the cyanide cannot attack because this center is not electrophilic uh, this center is not electrophilic right so something is occurring so what is happening here this oxygen lone pair can push its electron like this way to kick off this chloride and you will get this particular intermediate right so this cation you are forming in your reaction medium now your cyanide molecule can attack either this side or it can attack on this side and we see that this attack is so in this case the major product is this right there may be some trace of product where this sign is attacking this side but major attack is occurring on this side and you are getting this product and so what will be the case so this is your product first step you will get this and here you have one hydrogen right now the ring will try to aromatize okay so how can it aromatize so it can uh, we can show it like that okay so you will be getting this right so this is your product now why this carbo carbocarbon so so first of all this is the case 
when the reaction is in water solvent right and uh, to explain the second outcome that is in dmf or dmso you can just say that it is so in the previous case it was sn1 type reaction because a cation was forming and a second case in dmf a direct sn2 attack will give this product right now the question is why sn1 reaction is favorable in water and why sn2 reaction is favorable in uh, dma for dma so, so i previously told that uh, a polar protic solvent like water they can stabilize a cation right so this particular cation was forming in the reaction medium it can be stabilized by water molecules because this uh, so this cations can be stabilized in the water molecule as well as the cyanide ions okay the cyanide ion which is nucleophile so this nucleophilic cyanide ion uh, they also gets solvated by the water molecules right this um, positive end of the water molecules solvate this cyanide ion that's why it reduce its nucleophilicity it lowers the energy of cyanide that's why to make sn2 reaction it has to overcome the high barrier and that, uh, that's why it in water solvent it cannot attack in this sn2 manner right so it will wait till this carbocation is generated so it is actually carbocation in this case i write different resonance chemical structure so uh, as its nucleophilicity re is reduced in water medium it will wait until this cation is forming and then it will attack here now still one question left that why it is attacking at this particular center and not this center so in terms of molecular orbital theory you can explain it very nicely because it uh, if you do the calculation you will see see that the coefficient of lumo will be greater here and coefficient of lumo will be lower here okay so this you can tell by calculation but if you don't know the molecular orbital theory then also you can tell because if you look at this particular molecule you see that this resembles this part so this part resembles a carbonyl group c double bond o right and if i draw the full structure this is actually a conjugated system we can write so this end is this end if i compare these two systems they are structurally similar right this end is this end and this carbonyl carbon is this carbonyl carbon resembles with this center now in this case also there is a positive charge on oxygen atom also so if you if you use any lewis acid catalyst let's say lithium plus right so whenever you use a lewis acid catalyst or anything which induces a positive charge on carbon that uh, positive charge on oxygen that makes this carbonyl carbon center very much electrophilic and then all the nucleophiles directly attack on this carbon in a one to one to fashion they doesn't attack this distant carbon okay because this center is very much reactive now and the same analogy we can draw here that is this due to the presence of this positive charge this carbon this carbon center is particularly react it is very much reactive and that's why the cyanide ion will preferentially attack at this center and not at here so this is why in water medium you are getting uh, that particular product the attack on this center now what is the case of dmf so i told previously that dmf dma so they are such molecules so if i uh, draw the structure of dma so this is the structure of your dma so and you know that this is your, its negative end this is its positive end so to stabilize a nucleophile it has the positive end of the solvent molecule should be accessible now due to the presence of this methyl groups the nucleophile like cyanide they cannot approach to this positive center and that's why this cyanide cyanide ions they are un un uh, unsolvated right they are not solvated in the medium so their nucleophilicity is very high the nucleophilicity of the cyanide ion is very high in the solvent like dmso or dmf that type of polar aprotic solvents right 
and the, their counter ions, the sodium plus is very much solvated. So these highly unsolvated ions will attack at this center to do the SN2 reaction. And also the cation formation is not favorable in DMSO because this negative charge can they are stable, they are good at stabilizing the cations like sodium, potassium, but not this good, not this big carbocations, right? So that's why this condition is perfect for a SN2 reaction. And uh, that's why these two different outcomes are obtained from this particular reaction. So this video is conceptually very important because uh, by uh, knowing this concept, you can apply this to uh, bigger reactions and it will be helpful for you in later period, right? So I hope this video is helpful for you and thank you for watching. Good luck.